Live. Hi everybody, this is Daniel Judd here with 707 Street Cars. As always, I got my teammates here, Ricky and Randy. Uh, welcome to episode 22, Nature Edition. Yeah. <laughs> We're coming live to you in Rona Park, Northern California, uh, from uh, the city of Roman Park, where uh, the famous city that the Jake Performance Hobbies is in. Uh, they got, a, as you can see behind me, a lake. Um, and we brought some boats out here today, and we thought we'd change it up a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, let's uh, get through some shout outs first, and then we'll, uh, we'll get into telling you what the boats are, and then we'll go out and we're gonna run each one of these boats tonight and see what they do. So uh, we, got some, we got some badass new rigs here that uh, Randy and Ricky do that are, yeah. hey, uh, do they keep me going and have all that, or do I know where stop going? Just keep going. Keep going. Oh yeah, we're good. Um, so where was I? Okay, uh, it was reconnecting. Always, I want to give a big shout out to you, Paul Peterson, Shark RC Bodies. It's what's up. A lot of you know that we started uh, helping this uh, this man uh, advertise. He was in the dirt oval world, and uh, uh, we, we 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 talked to him and, and reached out to him and got him to build some uh, some drag bodies. And a lot of you guys uh, bought them and really like them. Um, and. Uh, yeah, he, he, uh, he makes some really good designs with the bodies, more to come. Um, can't talk about that right now, but I'm just going to say that, whether Paul likes it or not. Because uh, he ain't seen nothing yet. Um, but uh, checking out for your dirt oval stuff, uh, Street Stock, like the little ones. Yeah, yeah Street Stock and, uh, and Late Model. Uh, and uh, he, he's got a pretty cool lineup, stuff that's a lot more modern and it's just awesome. So a uh, big shout out to Troy Schroeder at Phantom RC Products like that and, and, and a lot of people have and I you know out of out of hundreds and hundreds of people that are watching us Randy and Rick I, I, I've seen so many so many people you know buy these motors and not one time have I said you know or, or heard man this thing's slow or this thing you know isn't like my blah 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 motor and it's just they're really good motors so a lot of you guys are bottom and if you have one you know um I want to get a shout out to Milo Carvalho Black Pot Cat Pot and Glitch Busters uh for all your all your flat or your, your cat pot get one um, if you're looking to get one check them out um, and then uh, Steve Negri of RCRI RC Racing Innovations uh, chassis solutions uh, chassis kits uh, wheelie bars wheels uh, full car kits he, he makes all kinds of stuff so if you want some high dollar carbon fiber stuff RCRI they're vamping back up uh, get a hold of them and, and see what you can get um, we have another real quick shout out John Bolba Designs. He's donated this stuff again, just like uh, Mr. Fullwitter did with the body and a lot of other companies um, for this stuff for the DR10. So, what we have here and here are the super lightweight with the Ninja on them um, speed, uh, speed control center mounts for over the battery compartment. Um, another one. And then we have uh, the DR10 or Associated Car Vehicle Rear Rear Fan Mount for the motor, and that bolts on sideways with your fan right here, and it's pointed right at the motor. You can even shroud it in the left fan. Um, super cool part. Um, so this is uh, we got some of those. Now for you mid motor guys that are making Associated, this is an Associated mid motor Stealth Designs fan mount. 
And as you can see, that's a nice little piece. They're good and sturdy. Um, you know, it, 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 for the stuff that I, I was sent for by him, I mean, it, it's really high quality stuff. So shout out to JR. Um, here's the battery location system for an associated car, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, this is your company right here. So if you have a DR10 or associated based vehicle and you're looking for any of these items, reach out to him. Self Designs, JR. I believe he's got a Facebook page, Randy? Self Designs Facebook page. He's on Facebook. So uh, check him out, guys. I want to I wanna promote a little bit for him because the guy deserves, you know, that at, at minimum for, for reaching out. and Because and, and, yeah, there's the box he sent me. Yeah, and yeah, donating stuff. I mean, he probably <laughs> sent us a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff. And just, you know, just like uh, John Fulwitter and, four, and a, a couple of the other people, you know, Justin Holt of, of uh, uh, Holt Custom Mask and... You know, there's just a lot of people reaching out. They believe in this this, this children's drive, um, and it's going to be awesome. So, without further ado, you have any shout outs, Randy? Uh, Jason Snyder, Ross Seeds. Jason got, Snyder? Yeah, we got some uh, stuff that hopefully we'll get uh, working on. Something that's hopefully in the mix of everything that we've been, you know, that's going on. We can make some clicks, and uh, we'll have uh, something coming up. that Randy and Ricky both have equally huge boners over the fact that <laughs> they want to run these boats. These boats have not been uh, driven yet. This is um, completely unbridled. Let's start with Randy's boat. Randy, really quickly go through us what we have here. What it's powered by. We have a Chinese boat. <laughs> <laughs> what is eBay. it? It's very fast. From eBay. That's okay. It costs them 10 freaking days to get it. Uh, 36 inch hull, uh, catamaran single drive. Um, the motor. <laughs> Big block. I put a, an OSD 150 amp ESD. And you said it runs off of four? It'll run off of four and six F. Four and six F. So this thing, this thing is by far probably the lightest boat here and right up at about the 75% mark for size. So it's a bigger boat, but it's super light, it's super low profile, I noticed. It's super sleek, even the drivetrain of it. Um, he's got the center, center mount, everything, and then the nut. Tell us about that nut on the back. I'm gonna have to get one of these for my boat. It's really, really trick. Um, super nice boat. Of putting it together. Now this boat comes as what we would call in the car world a roller. No uh, electronics. Yeah, floater, I guess. A floater. <laughs> floater. Okay, you know, I don't know if this one's gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little float, and that's it. It's a floater. So um, the Ricky, whole tub's completely empty. I had a packet full of foam because there was nothing that uh, there's nothing in it other than the bracketry in the bracketry. Rear uh, steering and the uh, shaft is all top of the It's a super nice boat. I like it. And it's going to be fast. We're going to find out. So, um, Randy also has a couple other boats that are pretty awesome. I think his, his nerves are all set on this boat right now. He didn't bring his other boats tonight, which is okay because this no is a lot everybody in his neighborhood's boats. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, super cool build, dude. I like it a lot. Um, good job on it. It looks like it's going to be really fast. So without further ado, let's get over here to Ricky's humongous Mistyco. <laughs> tell us, tell us what this boat is about. What, what are the what are the specs on it? It's 36 inch Delos, I believe it's called. It's a Mistyco. It's got two four pole 1900 kV motors, two ESDs. There is 12s of battery strapped in this bad boy. And last time, I actually got it from one of our other racers, Tony. Uh, last time I saw it run, the one and only time I saw it run. It did a complete pass backwards from the over there, and it went airborne and did a backflip, landed right side up, and kept on going. So we're gonna try and not do that tonight, but it could happen, folks. And I am fully prepared to swim after my friends. So yep, none of us <laughs> is jumping in, <laughs> or we're gonna play bumper boats and so push it over. Tell us what powers this boat. If you could come up here and look on the inside of the boat, it's got two 120 amp ESCs. Okay, now hold on a minute. Isn't this the same ESC that powers 
the UL-19 yep. and my boat. And that boat. And it's got two complete systems in it. Yep. That one is, motor with here. Two, two drives and two props. One motor here, one over here. It's got two. Out drives. This thing weighs about 20 pounds. <laughs> twin 30 millimeter Nagasaki loud boys. <laughs> it's got all the Ys to connect all four batteries. And how many batteries does this run off of? You can run it off of two 3S's or four. And this is maxed out right here. So basically six S to each motor. So you have six S per system, two system. That, sir, is freaking nuts. She will kill. She will kill. <laughs> okay. Step in front of it. Uh, tell us really quick, without popping them apart, a little bit about your other boats here. This is a spec racing. Uh, hopefully everyone can hear me. This is the six camp, four pole. This boat actually is really fast, runs on 4S. It's an Aquacraft Lucas Oil. Um, surprisingly fast little boat. This is the baby version of that one. This one will run off 4 or 6S. Uh, it is my kid Chase's boat. We only run it on 4S. So it does pretty good on 4S, handles amazing. And then we got another bad boy over there. And a dude doing a wheelie. <laughs> now this boat here is what is going to lead me into my next story with my boat because what powers this boat was the buying force for what I wanted to power my boat with. Uh, this is the UL-19 by Pro Boat. It is super fast, out of the box, is it performing? This thing does what guys, probably 70 miles an it's hour? It's bone stock. Now granted, this is more of a glass water boat. I don't know if it's going to do, as you can see in the water, I don't know if you can see in the water, but there's some chop out there right now. The wind's probably about 8 miles an hour, um, so we do have a breeze going through. Um, but let me show you what the power plant is with my boat. Now, my boat was a nitro boat. It was the only boat here that started life as a nitro boat. This is a 0.32 two-stroke uh, big block uh, pro boat. When pro boat first started making boats, um, and I had one about 10 years ago. Life got rough, had to sell it, and I always wanted another one. I found one about two years ago with the intention of making an electric uh, on the internet for 100 bucks. Now, as you can see, this boat is beautiful. It's dirty right now, but it's beautiful. Um, and it sat, it sat and sat. Well, Ricky and Randy invited me out when they started doing boats. I'm like, well, I used to do boats. Me and, me and Ricky used to do boats years, yeah, ago. years ago together. So they invited me out, and I saw, and as soon as he opened up this Pro Boat UL-19, I was like, I don't know what motor's in that one, but I'll take six of them. <laughs> so what I did is I transformed this into a 6S single system, four pole, how many kV is it again? 2000 oh, kV. 2000 kV motor. I think that's a um, motor. I went kind of overboard, it, it, is it? Yeah. Oh really? Maybe that's why it's so continuously lumpy. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Um, I went overboard with the cooling because his UL19 got a little hot when he ran his, so I kept that in mind when I was building mine. Um, first time I ran it on 4S, the motor got a little warm, but it wasn't anything to worry about. Um, so I put another little cooling fan in here, and as you can see, my boat, because it was nitro, is actually open, and everything's waterproof, so if it flips over again like we did last time. And if Dan flips over again. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, so it gets some air travel through here, it has some skanks in the back, so it has air traveling through, fan, and four, one, two, three, four, 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 four cooling ducts, so she's done, and she's on 6S now, so she's, uh, and we're trying a new prop tonight, so this has the UL19 speed controls, UL19 motor, um, the same batteries, the, the 6S that we run the UL19 on, but it wasn't that fast last time we came up here, it was alright, but it, uh, it didn't have the same prop, so I actually put the same prop from the UL19 on it, and uh, it was, you know, uh, custom balanced and polished by Randy, um, and it looked just beautiful. It's almost a shame to use it. It looks so good, and he sharpened the edges, so it's, it's actually really sharp, Randy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put my fingers in place. Yeah. So, um, let's run some boats, guys. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, Where's your boat? Some, we got some guys coming, some 707 guys. Where's your boat? <laughs> your boat! So here's another thing while they walk up. So 
Ricky's been playing with this, and this looks like a sedan size car. I'm telling you guys, this might be the big drag, the next drag racing thing. And if you look at this car, this car is completely set up like a real car. It has a, a, a pan hard bar, coil over, four link suspension with a drive line right to the motor. I mean, it is just like a real car. I think it's a really, really cool idea. Um, I think it gives me some ideas for some stuff I want to do. Road rage. Yeah, I did some road rage, huh? But yeah, super cool car, dude. I really like the thing. He's got seats in it, a nice little bottle in it. It's all decked out. For me? For you. <laughs> <laughs> I know how you roll. What's up, guys? Oh, What's up, man? Us? So if I could introduce a couple people to all my, my viewers. We've got Tony Cortez here. 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 And he's, he's, uh, he's a 707 hard hit heavy hitter. And same with Billy. Billy's a really fast guy here in the 707. Billy Wilson. What's up, Billy? What's up, man? How you doing, bro? How you doing? Good to see you. We're gonna run some boats. So who's up first? What do you guys want to do? Let's polish. Let's yeah. polish. Sharpen the balance. Let's do the black one. Go. Let's see the new I black one run. All right, yeah, Randy, you're up. Yeah. Randy, are you ready to run? It? Is it all good? Oh, no, I'm oh you need pay. Huh? How are you, sir? How are you doing? Good. It's what good to see you. It's up there behind you. I like we got the boat catchers out there. Oh, I'm like, what the heck are you doing? They need some, some spray mist and a wipe down, man. She's beautiful. At home, when you, when you got it all working, did you just want once to see if it was all, yeah? Of course he did. How much does that cost for that? Oh, I see. Uh, well, I don't know who makes them, but they're offshore electric spray. Uh, These guys in their twinning hats. Up short stack. <laughs> Gonna sweep him away. Hey, Judge, you want the kayak? <laughs> no. Uh, at this point, I'll probably just swim, bud. Yeah, if they think they get some money for a five dollar lure, wait till they see what, what kind of they bring for a thousand dollar boat, right? I can have our lovely Jamie and the camera go in the water. The end of the dock. And let's just check it out. Other way. Hey, you guys. You guys notice the wind kicked down a little bit. Does it film us still? Yep. Hey, Jay. Jay. <laughs> Brings the pizza and the heat. Holy crap!
Okay. <laughs> up here just so you know. No and Timmy fake it and be like, okay, jump in and go grab it for me. So let's remember guys that Randy's black boat is only four cell and it's capable of six and it's going to be another animal. Now this is Ricky's six cell uh -oh. that likes to go underwater when you go slow. I was about to say, it's a scuba Steve. Three, two, two one, go! It's gone. Nuh-uh. Looks like the goat. You're still floating. Oh, somebody's at Beer Republic right now, having a beer, watching you guys rip it up. Matthew. Say hi to your wife. Hi, honey. Thank you for letting me come out here with beer and friends. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> yeah, we're separate dinners, and I gotta go. <laughs> At least you didn't have to go swimming. Don't slip. Look at this teamwork. Look at these guys. This is cute. Father and son now, Chase and Ricky. Hey! I don't want any duck poop water on me. Go Chase, go! home skillet. Let's try not to go fishing this time or swimming, okay?
definitely faster with his prop. It sounds just like the UL-19, dude. Uh, it's not as fast, though. <laughs> Man down, man down. <laughs> Yeah, we got backup if we need. Watch it. Watch when I go really slow. <laughs> I can't do it now. Thank you for your help. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Okay, I'm over. 
Over here, can you see it, Chase? Chase, you ready? We're gonna make you see some glass water right in front of it. Watch my boat. Ready? <laughs> I will call the start. <laughs> so line up, go back where Dan's at. Oh yeah, those people are gonna love that. Chase, try to just stay to your just don't spray them when they're trying to eat. Who gets a hit? <laughs> okay, we're we're gonna give because the the eating factor. Do it over there more. Want me to do it? These poor people are trying to eat. Let's just hope they don't get sprayed by duck poop. He's got a head start. Go, Chase! If you cross the center line, you're disqualified. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Hi, Noe. You want to say hi? Say hi, everybody. No. This is my little co host who's being shy, but she has really pretty bracelets. Did you leave your bracelets over there?
go see what they're doing, Nellie. They're taking their sweet time. Princess time. Skip, skip, please, skip, skip. Careful, that you might fall, honey. Go this way. Good job. Pit masters over here. Oh, yeah. That's pizza awesome. queen over there in the corner. She brings the pizza. Pizza, pizza. Oh, water. Oh, well. We're on an ice pack now. <laughs> So how are you today, Mr. Chase? Good. You having fun? Yeah, pizza, that's good as donuts, right? Went to the beach to see a hawk. Days of our lives. That's why it's running. Well, I don't think they want to play with the boats.
I'm looking at him. We're experiencing technical difficulties. It's a new radio. Yeah, we figured it out. So, so. King of the street. And turn away. Turn away. Turn away. Turn away. I'm like holding on my hip like a kid over here. Live studio audience. Geese edition. <laughs> God, geez. This is a kid friendly show, okay? Okay. Hey, watch that, pouty mouth. Don't fall in. Go ahead. Let her go ahead. Let her ramp. Yeah, it's doing a good 70 miles an hour, dude. Ducks, ducks. <laughs> it takes you 100 feet to slow it down, huh? Oh, I want to drive one now. I'm going to have to get one. What are those brand new? About 800 bucks. Run for a, la a long time. Nope. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Hit again. <laughs> I'm not fully on it going that way. I'm not lifting either. Billy Wilson's boat. Oh. Aren't you guys the same? Is that right about there so, where it shot last so time, remember? Next week, this time, Billy Wilson and this one? Yeah. Yes. Billy's got aftermarket props. Oh, no, 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 I don't hear that. <laughs> Come here, Tony, stand right where Chase is. You better buy yeah. the props. Does Billy have a big one like that, Joe? Yeah. Stand right where Chase is at. Stand right where Chase is at. 
Probably got maybe water in it. ESP is warm. I would just drill mm -hmm. out ports. More air, more water. I can add more. You can get a more water. Get a pump. They sell a little a little miniature uh, build pump basically. Yeah. Throw water money into it. They're cheap. They're like twelve bucks. Twelve bucks. Everything. What happened? Twelve bucks for a little pump that's just sitting still. Sitting still. Yeah, those little tiny ones. Yeah. Just get the tape. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, like I said, I have a I have a bag of four different water cooled mounts, and if one works for you, then one works for you. They're all brand new. I put it around my. See how this is just a kit, and it has two sides and a motor mount. Yeah. And I put these pieces of plastic and bolt them down and glue it. Uh, I 
what, what was this again? 270 for the motor and speed control? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This sounds weird. You gotta fucking lot. calibrate it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't lift, man. I was running yeah. it. Push the hot air around. Push the air. Yeah, see, those, the, you gotta think. An electric boat, do you want to open vents? Probably not, but then again, everything's waterproof, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, it totally helps. You put some air vents in that thing, I bet your problems go away. The way that thing's moving through the air, oh, hell yeah. a lot so you did a, a prop change yeah i just put the same prop the ul19 has on it so every time you turn it on are you awake now backwards. you gotta calibrate every time the part breaks in reverse get the hell out of me <laughs> try and break and then reverse One of these boats are different, I have so many of them I can't keep track. <laughs> Isn't that what, what it sounds like right before it blows up? Yeah. <laughs> Are we double videoing? Oh my gosh, I'm yelling. <laughs> oh, this, uh, gotcha. Oh, there I am. This octocraft <laughs> is a pain in the butt you have to calibrate. Look at you. Let's show the viewers what the viewers see. Right. So the viewers can see what they see like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I noticed that when you first day, when you finally <laughs> first got it to rev, this one, the prop would decelerate and go wah on. -wah. This one would go wah uh and it would stop. <laughs> wah uh. It did, it stopped. So what was that? Wah uh. Wah uh. Wah uh. Wah uh. It's right there on the ground, guys. Right by Randy's feet. Mm. Mm. This, this thing's weird. You gotta calibrate. But this little boat's surprisingly fast. You want to be the camera guy? Where are you going? <laughs> no, hell no. I got him. I'm just the voice behind the screen. This little boat. That's Randy's new boat. It's slick, huh? It looks like the... Off the boat. Those white scissors go. You guys got them? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I mean, yeah those guys like make them straight in front. Oh, oh powered by Dutch Brothers? I want some Dutch Brothers. Who put that on? I don't know. I'm on the boat. <gasps> Hold on. <laughs> Alright, back on the dock.
tide it, it plates like that in the water. It's like a perfect balance. They want you to put a giant wing on your boat. Over tea kettle. Ducks are gonna poop on it. So evidently there was a function of the waves and the boat to where the velocity of the speed. Daniel, explain to him what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Give the real. So the wind is coming from that from that way over here, from no south to north. And he was going into the wind and caught one of these chops and it got up a little too high and it grabbed the inner structure of that catamaran. The inner structure, not guys. the outside, the inner. You guys kill me. But watch how we're going to save this. We're going to sink two boats to get one. <laughs> yeah, I've done it twice. There you go, right there. You guys have to marry the forks together. May the forks be with you. The tip's got to align. Yeah, you got to dock. <laughs> Ricky's got to dock the other tip. <laughs> Wait, no, show us again. What? They got to go get a tip. They got to kind of dock like this. <laughs> where you can oh, right, you can't make more. this shit up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Randy, how do you dock? Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he probably could better because he put his center V right in between the two Vs. But he would go over the over the two two Vs. Oh, maybe yeah. He cause he a rupture. Yeah, he's no, <laughs> yeah. knocked the brakes right off of it. Hey, look at he's coming to save. We got a savior. Five more dollars. Yeah, that boat doesn't turn very well at slow speeds. Look at turtle. Yeah. Yeah, Randy, where's the tugboat? People are asking for your tugboat. Let's go get your battery. Tug more takes 20 minutes. <laughs> we got a savior. No, he left his tugboat at home. <laughs> what happened? It just catch wind? You caught, yeah, you caught under. Look at the ducks are making fun of you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Save the day again. Woohoo! Chase, pay him. Pam. Close your mouth. Pam, five bucks. <laughs> Close your mouth. I won't pay you no more. Fly's gonna fly in there. Turtle, 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 turtle. Get the turtle. Get the turtle. I can't zoom in, it's not gonna let me. There he is right there. This is the worst show. <laughs> we ruined it. <laughs> we showed up and saw the rock and the It makes it more fun. The guy who's posting in the photo. I'm always like, so no one hears him. <laughs> yeah, we got the boat! <laughs> who's that? Oh, that's Dan down there. I'm like, who's that guy? Chase, can I try? Ducks? Beware. How about turtles? Turtles, go down! Oh, there goes Dan! There goes Dan! You want the... Almost went in.
is he doing? What is he doing? Gonna fall in. Billy, this thing needs success so bad. Wait, what's that thing on the back? Uh, I'm dragging a turtle. Careful, stay. Here it comes. Back to you. Ready? Be careful. Got it? Don't fall head first. Be careful. Look at that teamwork. Here's our close up kid. Oh, Randy! Maybe it'll just float back to you. <laughs> What's up, fart maker? Boat well trained there, Randy Rhodes. Comes right back. You got it? Any extra water? Can I fill this water? Sweet. Yep. What the hell with what? Okay. I'm filling this water. It's yours. Remember you went in water? Oh yeah, I forgot. on the street? Driver error. Hang on, bicyclist at 10 o'clock. Hey. 
nitrous bottle? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're stopping traffic now. Keep going, it's a, look, it's a parade. Still working out the bugs in it. It's got no suspension travel, so it's any little bump sets this thing on its top. What's up, kitty patootie? Yeah, because this kid's car is just like a, like a uh, saw and axe. Try and soften it up for you, dude. Hold it up. She can call me whatever she wants. Alright, guys, can we get a sign off here? I don't know, you still got 23 watchers. I don't know. Huh? Yeah. Right, I think um, we're so, done hey with guys, boat. thanks for joining us for episode 22 of uh, Nature Boat Edition uh, on NPRC Talk here with the 77 Streetcars. Uh, join us next week. We'll have another show lined up. Um, hopefully, we got Proline's new tranny coming out. Um, so, we'll do a segment on that. We'll rip that thing all apart as soon as they get released. Um, and, uh, and yeah, thanks for thanks for watching us, guys. Peace out. We out. Thank you, guys. Say goodbye, Ricky. Thank you. Thank you for Say goodbye, Chase. Bye. Say bye, Randy Rhodes. Bye, Randy. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye, See you later. We out. Bye. Bye. Bye.